figaro, 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 figaro. Natalie, what are you listening to? I'm running for school. Well, take those off. We're doing the family photo. I have soccer practice in a half an hour. And I have to get to work. We'll be fine. Daniel! I should have gotten a haircut. You look great, honey. This room has the best light. I think we do the photo here on the sofa. Perfect. Everyone have a seat. Daniel! Do you want to sit on Mommy's knee, sweetheart? Please don't patronize me. <laughs> okay. We ready? Where's Dad? Yeah, where is Dad? Daniel! Arr, and now, boy! <laughs> On aboard to sail the seven seas with me and me plundering pirates, and our paper letter of the alphabet is in P. It is in Q. It's R. Near, far, wherever ye are, video kill the radio. Oh. <laughs> okay, joke's over. Now take that off and let's do this for real. Ooh, I spies me a lassie, eh, Polly? <laughs> she looks like a noble wench. I bet she only eats really expensive fish eggs, you know, heavy. Is this how you want to do the photo? Aye. No, not I. Nay. Oh, come on. I've got eye patches and muskets for all of us. Daniel, I want a really nice photo of how our kids look at this age, and that doesn't include eye patches and guns. Okay, fine. Then we do the cutting edge fashion shoot, yeah? <laughs> yeah. First, we fix the hair. We put it up, we put it down, or maybe we tease it. Oh, stop it, you naughty hair. You're making me blush, yeah? <laughs> Sorry, actors. Daniel, please. Yes, please, yes. We must play to the camera, darling. I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. DeVille. Good. <laughs> yes, now, strike a pose. Maybe do a sassy spin. Daniel, help! Oh! I think I went too far. R. <laughs> I am so sorry about that. We will pay for it. It's a $2,000 lint, and now I have to cancel my next two shoots. Why do you always do this? Do what? It was an accident. An accident that wouldn't have happened if you had just done what I asked. Or it wouldn't have happened if you had just rolled with my pirate idea. All I wanted was a normal family photo, and you turned it into a one-man show. Miranda, come on. Here we go again, another game of Hiller Family Feud. I was just trying to make it fun. Remember fun? A moment of silence in remembrance of fun. <laughs> Dad makes a joke and then before you know it, Mom's unglued. Don't you dare make me out to be the bad guy here. You get all the fun and I get whatever's left. I'm starting to feel it's been forever since they really got along. When you are the one who is overreacting to something, that is ultimately not that big a deal. And we're caught in between the bickering. And what's wrong with this picture? Because this is what you do. You get a whim and you just act on it without thinking about how it affects others. You're like ready, fire, aim, and you miss a lot. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll do better. Now who wants to play Mario Kart? Man! I pull Mario! Bowser! Princess Peach! Mom? You okay? It's fine, honey. I'm fine. However the day begins, it always ends with her nose out of joint. She tells him to just grow up, sometimes a kind of her point. Our home is a battleground, it's breaking down. I'm trying to be strong, so I gotta be the referee. See what's wrong with this picture. They're coming apart, I don't know what's wrong. Fingernails until they 
take leave. Chris is failing math, and Lydia quit the dance team. Is everything okay at home? Clearly, the kids are acting out. Have you discussed it with Daniel? He doesn't think there's a problem. I have a birthday surprise! What? A party! What? Yes! Sweet, I thought Mom said no parties because of his grades. Uh, she didn't mean that. What about school? It's fine. I took care of it. Just run. <laughs> run! All of my friends, they say you're a lucky girl because your dad is really cool. They find it amusing when he comes to sneak us out of school. I know that he loves us, but sometimes you know he really interest to deprive them of a loving father. However, since at this time Mr. Hillard has no employment and is living with his brother and... Did you really hire a stripper for your son's birthday party? That was an innocent mistake. I thought I clicked singing telegram and must have clicked stripper glam. Low blow, Miranda. It is this court's decision to award sole custody to Mrs. Hillard. No, Mr. Hillard will have visitation rights once a week. Visitation? No, you can't do this to Mr. me. Hillary. Your Honor, once a week isn't enough. I've Mr. been with them every day of their lives. Mr. Hillard. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just... Permission to address the court, please. I need them, sir. And they need me. Lydia's young still, but she's old enough. To start going down all the pathways of love. Some will be easy, but some will be... At times she'll be swimming in oceans of anguish. At times she'll be dancing on air. Through all of her highs and her lows, I want to be there. Thank you, Mr. Hiller. Now, Natalie is something, a beautiful child. A head full of wonder, a heart full of wild. Man, she can light up a room with her smile. How could I go through a day and not see that? In what world would that ever be fair? A 
all I know is any world she inhabits, I want to be there. So tell me, what should I do here? Tell me, what should I not? Cause I'll do whatever it takes to hold on. They're all that I am. They're all that I've got. Chris is a pistol and barrels of fun. The bond that we're forming has only begun. He needs his father, and I need my son. Don't take away all my reasons for living. It's more than I think I could bear. So look beyond any misgiving. You'll see there's a father who cares, trying to make it all last. They grow up so fast. And I need to, I've got to, I want to be there. Please, let me be there. Very well, Mr. Hiller. I'll make this a temporary order. Thank you. In three months, we'll reconvene. And if you found a suitable place to live and secured steady employment, and proven you can provide for the children's needs, that joint custody will be considered. I'll assign a court liaison to oversee your case. Court adjourned. Here's a list of affordable housing. Once you find a place, I'll be visiting every week to assess the suitability of the living conditions. Okay. Here's the nearest employment agency. I've made you an appointment for tomorrow. Now, do you have any special skills? Yeah, I do voices. <laughs> What do you mean you do voices? You know, voices. I do voices. I do the most fantastic voices. <laughs> I win all the voice contests, and if I don't, frankly, they were rigged. <laughs> Visit you will, delighted I am. How does that triple process? Stupid habits of. I used to. There was a time I found myself funny, but today you have proven me wrong. Thank you. This is no joking matter. You want the judge to reverse his decision? Of course. Then do as you're told. Find affordable housing in San Francisco. And you think I'm the one trying to be funny. to the Ritz. It kind of smells like farts. That is the woman downstairs. She cooks a lot of cabbage. <laughs> and I farted. Dad! I did, I'm sorry. You said that we were going to eat here, but there's really no place to sit. Well, sure there is. vis a -Z is at Ikea, the famous Flunderbox and Cherbjorn. <laughs> okay, fine, but what's for dinner? There's no food in the fridge, and does this sketchy oven even work? It doesn't, but this does. That'll be the chef. I told him you don't eat anything that has feelings, so he's cooking your mother. <laughs> I'm kidding. Da 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 Luke, I've brought your dinner. I left it in too long, so it's a bit on the dark side. Look, I'll tell you brought dinner. Thought I couldn't handle dinner, huh? Your credit card was rejected, so you gotta pay cash. Oh. You got any cash? I'll pay you back. Fried chicken, awesome. And? Banana cream pie? I'll never let this happen. She doesn't let you have sweet stuff because you had two cavities and you don't floss. I can teach you how to floss. Stop! Act your age already! Never! So, what do you guys want to do? We can watch something? Or, hey, do you have to text right now? Sorry, Mom had a question. Mom? I get you one night a week, and you spend it texting her. You want to send her a message? Tell her you're my goddamn kids, too! Why are you yelling at me? I didn't ask for a divorce! Neither did I! You think I wanted to rip this family apart? Stop! Hey. Hey, I'm sorry.
sorry, sweet. No, don't chew your nails. It's gonna be okay. I don't like this. I know, sweetie. This is all my fault. Hey, no, don't go there. It's not you. Whose fault is it then? Uh -uh. It's nobody's fault, okay? It's just it's complicated grown-up stuff. I'm sorry you guys are in the middle of it now. Eat up. Come on, it's fine. Eat up. What should I do here? Tell me, what should I not? I'm doing the best that I can to so hold on. Mom! Mom! You're half an hour early. I know, but I texted Lydia. Now we get a few hours a week. You want to take one away from me? Yeah, we're his goddamn kids, too. <laughs> <laughs> nice, we'll get her to write that in Grandma's Christmas card. I'm showing her I'm human. One of us should be. Let's not do this. I actually had a really good day. How did the meeting go? It went great. He wants to invest. Well, that's great! Right. Who? Who wants to invest? Stuart Dunmire. He's an old college friend who owns a large chain of fitness clubs and wants to use that as a launch pad for my clothing line. Nice! Which means I'm about to get very busy, so I'm hiring a nanny. A nanny? Don't you think this is something we should discuss, seeing as, you know, they're our kids? Under our current arrangement, this is my decision to but make. But a nanny? I could do that. Yeah, Daddy could be our nanny. Oh, it looks like Daddy has his hands full trying to take care of himself. But he got his banana cream pie. Buying their affection. Daddy didn't pay. Look at it. Come on, guys, let's go. Hi, Daddy. Hi, nose kiss. <laughs> See ya, Dad. Bring it in. Bro hug. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be more homey next time. Like you'll have chairs? Whoa! Don't rush me. <laughs> Miranda, come on. Let me be with the kids. I'd have the time. I can save you some money. No, I think this is best for everyone. Besides, I already emailed the agency. Come on, Daniel. Try a little harder. Mm. You want me to try a little harder? Okay, I will. Email login, Miranda Hillard. Please tell me you didn't change your password. Yes, we're in, okay. San Fran nannies, that must be it. <laughs> Position available, nanny to three adorable children, blah, blah, blah. Please contact Miranda at 415-780. Let's just change some of these numbers, shall we? And save. Now, block caller ID. And it's showtime. Hello? Yeah, hi, I'm like calling about the nanny job thing. Oh, hi. Can you tell me about your past experience? Yeah, I was in a band called Severe Tire Damage. <laughs> in a band? Yeah, tell me, are your kids well behaved or do they need like a couple of like slams every now and then? <laughs> Hello? Ah! Bubba, put that pig down! Now I'm to be at the house again. <laughs> Howdy, I'm calling about that there nanny job. Ah! <laughs> in Russia, if a child cannot sleep, we give them vodka. They cry vodka. They fall down vodka. <laughs> M. Jaw. What? I. M. Jaw. I'm sorry, the position has been filled. Okay. Here goes nothing. Hello? Yes, hello. I'm inquiring about the housekeeping position. Oh, hi. Can you tell me a little about yourself? Oh, certainly, dear. For 15 years, I was employed for the Smythe family of Cookham in England. They're Smythe, dear, not Smith. Oh, I grew so fond of those four puppets. I loved them as if they were my own. But they do have to grow up, don't they? For them, I cleaned, washed clothes, and cooked their meals. You cook? Oh, I do. But I'm afraid I do have one strict rule, dear, which is that I won't stand for any sugary snacks or processed chemicals. It's proper wholesome food or empty tummies. I hope that's not too strict for you, dear. <laughs> no, no, that sounds wonderful. Would you mind coming in for an interview? Oh, that would be lovely. Great, say tomorrow around 8. I'm at 483 Steiner Street. Stein, oh, what a lovely part of town. I'll see you tomorrow promptly at 8. Perfect. And oh, um, could you tell me your name? My name. I thought I gave it to you, dear. You probably did, and I didn't hear you. I'm sorry. No, of course, you need a name, no doubt. Doubt. <laughs> Fire. Excuse me? That's my name, dear. Doubtfire. Mrs. Doubtfire. 
Mrs. Doubtfire, how nice. Well, I look forward to meeting you tomorrow because you sound like a lovely woman. Oh, thank you, dear. I am. <laughs>
<laughs> I already did a phone interview. She talks like this, dear. She's older, wiser, a bit more substantial. <laughs> well, why didn't you say so? Eleanor Roosevelt. <laughs> Dash of Julia Child. <laughs> Margaret Thatcher. Janet Reno. Even of Oscar Wilde. It often disappears with age or entering politics. <laughs> this is Christopher. Oh, how do you do, Christopher? Oh, that's a firm handshake. I bet you play a sport. Yeah, soccer. Really? I'm a big fan myself. I always catch the Liverpool games on the telly. Liverpool? That's my team. Oh, what a coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Lydia. Hello, Lydia. Hi. This isn't fair, Mom. Why do we even need a nanny? Why can't Dad do it? I thought we agreed not to do this. Is your father an option, dear? Because I wouldn't at all be offended if you chose to go that route. No, he's not an option. I mean, maybe if he would get a job and start taking some responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, dear, but I'm sure you're in the habit of asking the children to step out of the room before you verbally abuse their father. <laughs> if I did that, I might never see them. <laughs> Mom, sorry. Lydia, I understand how hard this must be for you, but all I want is to make this home as happy as it is beautiful. Would you like a cup of tea? Oh, that would be lovely. Okay, guys, to your rooms, please. Give us a little space. I'm sorry about Lydia. She's still pretty mad at me right now. Oh, does she blame you for the divorce? How did you know I was divorced? Well, you can tell, dear, from the way the children talk about their father. It's not as if he's off in the Navy. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful kitchen. Well, thank you. Here, let me make the tea. Are you sure? Yes, yes, you've had a hard day. Sit down and leave it all to me. All right, here we go. Look out, flying saucers. And the spoons. Wow, you really know your way around my kitchen. 
<laughs> well, because everything's so well placed and labeled. Oh, just labels, labels, labels everywhere. Doesn't it just get the blood boiling when the slightest thing is out of place? Yes, thank you, it does. I just think life feels a little less chaotic when everything is in its proper place. I know that might seem a little... Controlling? No. <laughs> no, who would say such a thing? My ex-husband. He never appreciated it. Ah, uh, men. Are you married? Oh, I was, dear. He's long dead. Oh, I'm sorry. It was the drink that killed him. Oh, he was an alcoholic? No, he was hit by a Guinness truck. <laughs> I suppose you could say it was his last call. <laughs> he looked so peaceful, lying there in all that foam. <laughs> it's strange. I feel like I know you from somewhere. You'll be thinking of Charlize Theron, dear. A lot of people get us fixed up. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, Charlize. No, stop it. Let me show you the rest of the house. Oh, a guided tour. Oh, I never know if I should tip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, did you see that? What? What's wrong? They were laughing. That's good, isn't it? No, it's awful. Can't you see what's happening here? Mom has made Dad disappear and found someone that she thinks can replace him. What? What do you mean? And like it or not, we're gonna share the house with a creepy old lady in a hideous blouse who's gonna prove <laughs> it and slowly chill.
I'm sorry, have we met? No. But Daniel's told me all about you. You know Daniel? Of course, he's my brother. But you have an accent. Yes, we grew up on different continents, very sad. <laughs> my father brought little Danny over after he ran off with a pole dancer from Alaska. <laughs> A North Pole dancer, if you will. <laughs> well, I do see the resemblance. You have his eyes. Yeah, he found out a donor card, and I was the lucky winner. <laughs> oh, no, no, that's not true. <laughs> I have an appointment with him. Is he in? Well, if you have an appointment, then he must be, because he never would have forgotten something as important as that. Wait well, here, dear. I'll go get him. I'll come with you. The court requires me to inspect his place of residence. Of course he does. Come in! Come in, or I'm afraid. You can take the girl out of Glasgow, but don't touch her whiskey or she'll hit you with a Johnny Walker. <laughs> oh, no, 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 just a moment, dear. Just a moment. Oh, Daniel! Oh, Daniel, there is a Mrs. Selner here to see you. Mrs. Selner? I'm so sorry. I'm just getting out of the shower. I'll be right out. It's so unlike you, Daniel. You're normally such a reliable person. I know, sis, I know. I'm just so busy today running around job hunting and being responsible and all that I needed a shower and I lost track of time. Hurry up, baby, she's waiting. He'll be right out, honestly, men. Although when I say men, Daniel is one of the good ones. <laughs> Did you secure a job, Mr. Hillard? I had an interview today, actually, and I got it. I'll need to see pay stubs. Pay stubs, right. Daniel, it's me, I brought the spare wig. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Mrs. Selner, Daniel's court liaison. Who are you? I'm Frank, Daniel's brother. And is the wig for your sister? I don't have a sister. Mrs. Selner, sorry to keep you waiting. I was in the shower. I see him at my brother. Yes, but I'm confused. Your brother said he doesn't have a sister? Right. He doesn't. She's my sister, half-sister, actually, from my father's first marriage. Oh, right. <laughs> Different fathers! <laughs> <laughs> okay, our mother left my father and my sister's father back home in Scotland. England! In, in Scotland! In Britain, anyway. They moved around a lot. <laughs> Where he died. Dad died, sadly, from rickets! <laughs> Sis wears a wig because she has female pattern balding. Name? Alopecia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my, sister. <laughs> my, sister's name. my sister's name is Hilly. Hilly? Hilly? It's a nickname. For Hilly? For Susan. <laughs> it's a long story. Anyway, that's her situation. And my friend brought her a wig. So great. That's all settled. Hey, sweetie. Here's the space you wanted. I think they're your size. Who's this? What do you mean, who's this? Who's this asking who's this? Yeah. <laughs> this is Mrs. Selner, my court liaison, and this is Andre, my brother's husband. Spanx, Mr. Hillard? They're not for me. He just said he thinks they're your size. Me and my sister are the same size. <laughs> you never told me you had a sister. Didn't I? I thought I did! No. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why I never told you! Right, yes. Yes, it was all very sensitive. Mom hated all the scandal with Dad and the pole dancer. Right, very traumatic! <laughs> Look, my concern here is the welfare of the children. My sister is great with the children. Then I'll need to interview her as well. Great, I'll have her call you. I'm here, she's here. I'll do it now. Of course you will. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go get her. Frank, Andre, please keep Mrs. Selner occupied. Oh, sis! What was your name again? Wanda Selner. And you work at City Hall? Yes, in Child Protective Services. Can I get your advice on something? We've been trying to adopt a baby. Oh, that's true, actually. <laughs> and we have been getting absolutely nowhere because there's so much red tape down at City Hall. I mean, how do you people 
people get anything done down there, I swear if there was a fire, y'all make me fill out a form before I ran out the building. Here's my card. I'll be right out there in just a moment. No, no! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Hillard, is everything all right? Yep, yes. I just, I stubbed my toe. My sister's still in the bathroom. Sis, pinch it off, honey. Mrs. Hillard needs to talk to you. Oh, Danny. Oh, I can't go out there now. I, I just took my face off. Appearances aren't important, Miss Hillard. I just need to ask you a few questions. Oh, I hope she's okay. You two chat. I'll go see what's keeping my brother and his sister. Who's not my sister? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? We're dying out there. I don't have a face. I knocked it out the window. The wig, the mask, the glasses, everything. What do I do? I don't know, but I can't keep lying. I'm getting louder and louder. <laughs> the spare wig. You brought a spare wig. Get it to me and I'll improvise. God help us. We meet the right criteria. You know, we just need someone to help us navigate. What was that? What was what? You threw something. No, we didn't. <laughs> Miss Hillard, I need you to come out here right now so that I can talk to you. Ooh. All right, dear. Forgive me if I'm a little shy. Believe me, you don't want to see this face in its current condition. I'm sure I've seen worse. Oh, I doubt that. <laughs> <laughs> Let me make us a cup of tea, shall I? I really just need to ask you a few questions. Oh, fire away, dear. I can hear you from here. Just putting the kettle on. Now, Daniel says you spend a lot of time with the children. Oh, only when he's in a bind. Milk and sugar. Yes, please. And do you drink those beers in the presence of the children? Oh, no, no, I drink them alone when I'm watching The Bachelor. It helps with the fantasies. Miss <laughs> Hillard, I prefer to look people in the eye when I'm talking to them. Miss mm -hmm. Hillard, I hear you, dear. Milk, milk. Miss Hillard, with you in the tea. Miss Hillard. <laughs> in this get-up. It's my Nike Beauty regimen. What it is is egg whites, creme fraiche, and a slight essence of smashed banana. <laughs> if I don't do this every night, my pores clog up like the toilets at Woodstock. <laughs> there you go, it's a cup of tea. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mr. Hillard? Mr. Hillard? Wanda Selner. What? The FBI? Okay, yes, yes, I'll be right there. I have to go, but something is wrong here. I'll be back. Oh, thank God for that phone call. No, thank Andre, or shall I say, Special Agent Don Summers, FBI. <laughs> I'm so sorry. She ambushed me downstairs. I told her I'd have a job, but I can't show her pay stubs from Miranda. Now I need another job to cover my actual job. I need a part-time janitor at the TV station. It ain't glamorous. At this point, I'll do anything. Oh, you have made that very clear. <laughs> Oh. 
Wow. Oh, I can't believe Mr. Jolly is still on the air. This guy makes Mr. Rogers look edgy. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the genius keeping this guy on TV? I am Janet Lundy, head of programming. Daniel Hiller, former janitor. After you fire me. Funny! Former janitor! That's funny! <laughs> <laughs> Meaning I'm not fired? <laughs> they might be firing me if I don't update this show. I guess children's television shouldn't make you want to kill yourself. <laughs> you missed a spot! And that means it's three of... Ah! Three o'clock, oh shoot! Thank you all for watching. We hope you like the show. We had fun, but we gotta run, cause now it's time to wasting their way on the Facebook or the video games. No, get those school books out and your homework done. Dad used to let us have some time to chill after school. Well, I'm not your father, dear, so it's no screens till after homework. That's the rule. Well, that's not my rule. <laughs> oh, I see. Enter Wi-Fi password. I got the same message. Me too. Do you change the password? It doesn't matter. We could just use our phones. Or can you? Phone locked? You can lock out a phone? Man, she's hardcore. <laughs> Let's get one thing straight. From three to seven every weekday, I'm in charge. And when I'm in charge, we follow a schedule which does not include surfing the World Wide Net Web, no. <laughs> we do our homework, we clean our rooms, and once your free time has been earned, the interweb will be restored. You can't make us do anything, you know. No, I can't. But I can encourage you to make smart choices or face the consequences. And believe me, dears, the consequences will be doozies. <laughs> Whatever. Homework sounds better than hanging out with her. Come on, guys. Oh, that's it, puppets. Fire up those neurons. <laughs> Give your brain porridge a good stir. And while you're doing that, I'll fix us a delicious, nutritious meal. I miss that. Yeah, me too. He's right here, guys. He's right here. Right. Nutritious meal. Nutritious meal. Here we go. Got a pot and a pan and no idea what to do. Hey, Siri, show me videos on how to prepare a delicious, nutritious meal. Ha! Chef Amy here. Are you looking for a delicious, nutritious meal that's easy to make? Yes, lay it on me. Well, today I'm going to show you how to make chicken fricassee with summer vegetables. Okay. Another simple recipe from the East.
logro me. <laughs> and to keep the potatoes from burning, it's best if you clarify the butter. Oh, Siri, clarify butter. Hello. 
Sorry, am I crushing your dinner? A bit. <laughs> no, it's fine. Look, there's a chair for you. Kids, this is Stu. Stu, this is Christopher, Natalie, and Lydia. Hi! Hi, I feel like I know you because your mom doesn't stop talking about you. Yes, well, because they're wonderful children. Hello. And this is Mrs. Daffy. Oh, look at you, dear, with the pecs and <laughs> guns and geese better scurry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you use steroids, dear. You shouldn't they shrink the genitals, you know. <laughs> What? Uh, I don't use... Uh... I'm sorry, Mrs. Doubtfire. It's past your quitting time, and I don't want to keep you. Nice to meet you. You too. Stu. <laughs> Stu. Oh, not really a name, is it? More of a thick soup. <laughs> <laughs> it's Stuart, actually. Stuart Dunmire. Mm -hmm. And you really think it's wise to bring dates home to the children? Dates? It's not a date. It could be a date. Is it a date? Oh, I don't know what's happening. I mean, I wasn't looking, but he's kind, he's supportive, he listens. He's everything Daniel was not. But get yourself together, dear. It's too soon. After Winston passed, I found the only option to be complete and total celibacy. <laughs> celibacy? Celibacy. <laughs> wow, that is not going to happen. But thanks again for everything. Kids, say goodnight to Mrs. Doubtfire. Goodnight, Mrs. Mrs. Doubtfire. Goodnight, children. Mrs. Doubtfire? Oh, 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 oh. Lydia, what's wrong, dear? I, I want to apologize for earlier. Oh, no need. We all have moments where we aren't our best. I know, but you were just doing your job, and I was rude. And I'm sorry. I guess I'm still a little messed up over this divorce and everything. We all are, dear. Yeah? What? <laughs> I just mean I understand the pain you're going through. Oh. Well, I just wanted to say thank you for what you just did, that's all. What did I do, dear? You made Mom smile. I haven't seen her this happy in a long time. <laughs> for my entrance? No! Just say the name without the note, and we'll fix it in the edit. Roll it from the intro! His name is Loopy Lenny. Come on out, Loopy. Hi, boys and girls! <laughs> Hi, Loopy Lenny! I'm told Mr. Lenny has a very special machine. That's right. It's called a loop machine. A loop machine. What the... <laughs> Super! And where does the ribbon go in? Aha, not those kind of loops. These kind of loops. These kind of. These kind of. These kind of. And I also do beatboxing. Come again. Beatboxing, you know, like. <laughs> Where's the box? <laughs> oh, do you put loops around the box? Like if grabbing one of the hot! Let's break for lunch, everyone! Uh. <laughs> Sorry, Lenny, I am trying to modernize the show. Man, I think this dude proves there's life after death. <laughs> Hello, 
boys and girls. I seem to have completely lost my mind. So I brought my friend, Daniel the Heller. Thank you, thank you. <gasps> Look who it is, everybody. It's Mousy. Hi, Mousy. Hal, it's nice to see you. It's nice to see you too. <gasps> Look who else is here. It's Ratty. Hey, Ratty. Hey, how you doing? I'm pretty good. How are you guys doing? Well, I'm a little sad because I still don't know how to tell town. Oh, Mousy, don't be sad. This little machine here can help us with that. Here, check it out. This is the sound a clock makes. Tick, 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 tick. Hey, you're looping. That's right. It's like a clock. Tick, tick. Well, let's make this one a groovy clock. Tick, 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 t
talking with the reps from Macy's and Target, and both of them want to carry your line. What? That really couldn't have gone any better. And Mrs. Doubtfire. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew, right? I know. She really is something else. What do you mean by that? <laughs> what do you mean by what I mean? Well, when you say she's something else, what do you mean? Like, she's herself? Because I think she's just Mrs. Doubtfire, and that's exactly who she is, you know? <laughs> Are you on drugs? <laughs> oh, there's the woman of the hour! <laughs> oh, I wish I could a workout. I hope you didn't mind me being so modest up there, dear. I don't like to show too much flesh at my age. At least not since I gave up the sumo. <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> Natural performer. Amateur theater, dear. Get me drunk, I'll show you my river dance. <laughs> <laughs> Let's celebrate and get a treat at the snack bar. Oh, shall I go get it, dear? No, you've done enough. Please sit, rest your feet. Can I get you anything? Gin and painkillers. <laughs> 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 Good parenting, I suppose. Oh, well, one of them at least. The head. Thanks again for jumping in. You got us out of a real jam. Yes, well, see an opening and jump right in, eh, Stu? Can you blame me? A woman like that doesn't come along very often. That ex husband of hers was a fool to let her get away. A fool? It oh, and Miranda says he's quite charming. Witty, fun, strong, in his own way. What else would she say? About what? You... Well, about me. I've seen the way she confides in you. It's sweet. She really adores you. Oh, what can I say, dear? I'm adorable. <laughs> can you help me out, Mrs. Doubtfire? I think of Miranda, well, constantly. I'm a man on audition. I need a woman's intuition. Do you think that she feels the same about me? No. <laughs> what? No. No. That wouldn't work at all. But I thought I felt a connection. No, 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 no. You're too tall and too British. Too well chiseled. Too Brad Pittish. No. Are you sure? No, dear, you're not her kind. I sort of thought I was. If she saw you on the table, there she do a left swipe. I thought that I could be the sort of guy that she deserves. Give her everything she never got from that lame ex husband of hers. No. Only your way off me. But I thought I was reading the signs. Well, you're in it wrong. It's just not so. It's a big fat no. Miranda's still in recovery from her divorce, dear. Give it time. A decade, maybe. <laughs> But I just can't contain it. I simply adore her. I'd do anything for her. That's the honest truth. She is someone I think I could fit like a mom with. And I think I'm in love with her. And I think she's feeling it too. Wrong. Really? Why? And not to mention how you sound when you talk, it's rather cloying. What's that word she used? Sweet? Annoying. No. Yes. Yeah. But she said my accent was hot. Oh, she did. Yeah. Well, that's the thing about Miranda. She, she lies a lot. Like, she probably told you you look good in those tight pants. But you don't, dear. Two words. Moose knuckle. <laughs>
attention Someone who's strong but sensitive and sincere Women like sincerity Do you mind nothing I know what women like? You also like a man with a good sense of humor Which, sorry to say, you don't have Nothing personal here, you're just really boring No Who are you? He's an awesome bloke Oh, thanks guys A fella you can shoot a bat In my last job, I had to deliver a baby in the back of a car. Wow, what was that like? It was a Buick, had a leak in the sunroof. <laughs> Winston wanted me to get rid of it, but he really just discard something for a few flaws. Daniel has more than a few. Oh, so did Winston. But I made a vow, for better or worse, in sickness and health till death do us part. This cold fish reminds me of him. <laughs> it's a wee bit smelly, but satisfying enough when you warm it up. <laughs> I've always said a flawed husband is better than no husband. Yeah, well, you don't know Daniel. May I ask you something, dear? At the risk of getting too personal? Of course. Why did you do it? The divorce, I mean. Was it really that bad? What? Oh, no, Daniel's not a bad man. He's well-intentioned, big-hearted. And it was good at first. He was sweet, romantic. Oh, he sounds like an absolute dream compared to Winston. Winston's idea of foreplay was Effie, brace yourself. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, it was pretty passionate with Daniel. He was funny. Mm. We had fun. <laughs> Once we went together so well, same beat of a heart. Somewhere we just started to drift apart. Used to we could talk through the night, but that all went away. Somehow we just ran out of things. I'm tired of the tears, been chained to the fears of being on my own. The days turn to years together, but 
very sorry to hear that, dear. Was there really no other option? I tried everything. Believe me, I didn't want this to happen. Nobody wants it. I just didn't like who I was becoming. Angry. Sad. I didn't want my kids growing up with a mother like that. And I kept telling myself, it's going to change. He's going to change. He's going to see how much I'm hurting. But he didn't. Felt like I was starting to break. No room left to bend. I knew that I no longer could. to try that much is clean Start sorting this out. Pick up the 
pieces if I want to keep us together. Pick up the pieces so they can trust me to just be better. Yeah, that's not gonna happen! <laughs> <laughs> oh, why? Because of... Because when Dad's looking after us, he doesn't want our nanny looking after us because that just wouldn't be right. And Dad really wants to do the right thing. Right? Of course. <laughs> yes. Right. Tell me, can I be something other than the man they tell? Clean up this mess I made. Very nice, Mr. Hillard. Big improvement. I do seem to be acquiring some new domestic skills. <laughs> <laughs> well, this all looks very promising, but what can you tell me about this? A co worker sent me a link to this YouTube video that's gone viral. It struck me as odd that your sister is modeling sportswear for your ex-wife. That's not a sister. That's her nanny, Mrs. Doubtfire. Mrs. Who? Doubtfire. That's her name, Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> you said her name was Hilly Hillard. Hillard Doubtfire. She hyphenated when she married her second husband, Willie. She told us her husband's name was Winston. Willie Winston Doubtfire. William, actually, the third. She was the only one who called him Winston. We all called him Willie. We Willie, actually, because he was very small. He was a dwarf, actually. Not a dwarf. Not like, hi, oh, just, he was very short. So we called him a dwarf because different times. Mrs. <laughs> Doubtfire is your sister? How come Mommy never told us that? Yes, Mr. Hiller. How come Mommy never told them that? Because she told me you don't have a sister. Okay, so funny story. When Please don't take me for a fool, Mr. Hillard. Now I need to see you and Mrs. Doubtfire, or whatever you call her, in my office for a full case review, 9 a.m. Monday morning. Both of us, um, together? Is that a problem? No. Good day, Mr. Hillard. Hey, Chris, can you take Nanny to the bathroom to wash up before Mom gets here? Right, of course. Come on, Natty. Brush your teeth. Dad, how are you and Mrs. Doubtfire going to meet with her? I don't know. And now Natalie thinks Mrs. Doubtfire is your sister. I know, I know, and I'll fix it. How? Please tell me that you have a plan to end all of this. I just need the judge to reverse his decision. That's next month, and it might not happen. Natalie is going to find out, and then she's going to tell Mom that Daddy is Mrs. Doubtfire, and that's going to be bad. Like, really bad. You have got to tell her the truth. What? But I definitely won't be able to be with you guys. That's why I'm doing this. You do understand that, don't you? Yeah, but... Never mind. What, honey? You get to see your kids, but we don't really get to see our dad, you know? We get a character. I mean, I could see where this is good for you, but how is this good for us? Come in. Hey, guys. Whoa, am I in the right apartment? Daniel, did you do all this, or did you hire some old Scottish lady to come in and clean for you? No! He did it! <laughs> Dad just cleaned a lot, that's all. Yay, Dad! <laughs> lady, I'll get the out of the car just so I can talk to Mom for a second. Yes, talk to Mom, good idea. Come on, guys. What do you want to talk about? Because I really don't want to get into another No, I, I don't want that either, I just want to say I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry. I think I took our marriage for granted. There were problems, and I ignored them, and made you be the one who had to recognize them all. And I was angry, because I felt like you ended things so easily, but I never really considered how hard that must have been for you to make such a difficult decision. So anyway, I, I just want you to know I'm not angry anymore. I'm just really, I'm really sorry. Wow. What brought this on? I have been seeing things from a different perspective lately. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm happy for you. You seem to be in a much better place. I am. So let me be the one who stays with the kids. Let mm -hmm. me pick them up after school and cook their dinner and help with their homework. What? It's 
not a sincere apology when you want something for it. That's not. Uh, why can't you just accept that I might have actually changed? I'm not doing this. I'm not rehashing everything, I, getting into another I don't fight. want that either. I just want my kids back. Why can't you give me that? And lose Mrs. Dowfire? That woman is the best thing that's ever happened to us. Oh, she's not that great. You haven't even met her. No, I feel like I have, and I hate her. <laughs> well, I love her. She has completely turned our lives around. The kids have never been so happy. And you know what? I don't think I've ever been this happy either. So, I'm sorry, Daniel, but Mrs. Doubtfire is here to stay. She's happy. She's happy. The happiest that she's ever been. That's great. Just perfect. Just what I want to hear. What do I do? What do I do? Kill Doubtfire? Yeah, kill her in a San Francisco torboat accident. You can't do that. <laughs> Could I do that? It wouldn't work, dear. The children would be sad. They love me more than you. Oh, <laughs> God, I need help. <laughs> help me, help me, help me, help me. How are we both going to be there Monday morning? It can't happen. Think of something. I got nothing. What do I do? What do I do? Don't be crude, dear. I think you're screwed, dear. Monday morning at 9 o'clock. Monday morning at 9 o'clock. Monday morning at 9 o'clock. Good morning, Mr. Hillard. 9 a.m., right on time. Have a seat. And where is Mrs. Doubtfire? Okay, funny you should ask. She's not gonna make it. Mm-hmm. Then how do you explain her? <laughs> Hello! Or her? Hello! <laughs> or her?
about you if you have a moment. Of course. Can we sit? I'm afraid this news may come as a bit of a shock. You see, I'm not. This is Starfire. Did Mommy tell you about tonight? Not yet, honey. I was going to call you. Today is my birthday. Oh, did I forget again? I don't think I ever told you when my birthday was. <laughs> right, of course not. Happy birthday! Well, anyway, I was planning on just spending a quiet evening at home with the kids, but Stuart surprised me and got us a reservation at La Rosa, which is my absolute favorite place. Oh. And we want you to join us. Me? You're part of the family now. Oh, thank you, dear. But, you see, the trouble is... Oh, you've got to come! It's a fancy Spanish restaurant with a singer and dancers! It won't be the same if you aren't there. Please, Mrs. <laughs> Stoutfire? <laughs> How can I say no? Yes! <laughs> Great. Seven o'clock at the Rosa. Seven o'clock. I'll be there. Great. Oh, and I'm sorry. What was it you wanted to say? Hmm? You said there was something you wanted to tell me? I'm not... I'm not completely Scottish. <gasps> I'm actually a quarter Swedish. My maiden name is Flutenguden. <laughs> anyway, we must go get ready for our dinner, eh? La Rosa. Oh, ole, ole. Happy birthday. Speaking. Sorry, I had something in my throat. Hi, Miss Lundy. What's up? I have to go to London, so I can't do next week, but I have a cancellation tonight. Let's meet for dinner. Talk over your ideas. Tonight? I, I can't. I just... Can we meet when you're back? No. I had another pitch this morning and want to hear yours because I have to make a decision by next week. I, I have a thing across town. You can pick the restaurant if that makes things any easier. <laughs> La Rosa. The Spanish place, on a barcadero. Yep, that's the one. Great, seven o'clock. Great, wait. Can we make it later, like nine? No, I'm on the red eye. I can do 7.30. 7.30? Great. This'll work. <laughs> Should work. <laughs> it's gotta work, right? Frank, hey, brother, listen. I know you're probably gonna say this is a bad idea. It's not a bad idea, it's a terrible idea. Why do you enable him? He's my brother, I love him. And he said he'd buy a steak. The man needs help. I know, <laughs> I'll tell him that. After we get our steak. <laughs> la Rosa, La Rosa, La Rosa, te da la bienvenida. Donde la comida se hace con amor. Oh, thanks, guys. That was beautiful. Thank you so much. Oh, there she is. Yay! This is Tom Fire. You're looking lovely this evening. Oh, you're such a flirt. <laughs> Stuart is treating us all this evening. Isn't that nice? Ooh. Sit, sit. I ordered sangria. Oh, and you found my weakness, you cheeky monkey. <laughs> all right, let's see what we've got here. Reservation for Lundy. No! Something wrong. <laughs> they don't have haggis. <laughs> oh, but they wouldn't, would they? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Miss Lundy, I have you for 7.30. I know. It's a little test I do. If he shows up 15 minutes early, I'll know how hungry he really is. Right this way. Oh, sorry, dears. I, I need to uh, nip off to the loo and see an old friend off to the coast. Will you excuse me a moment? Change me now! Oh, we aren't ready. You said 7.30. I know, I know. But Janet Lundy is here. She's early and she's expecting me to be too. I knew it. Why do I listen to him? Every time he says, trust me, it'll be okay. And it's never okay. We are leaving. No, please, please. I need you, okay? I can't do this without you. And keep all this ready because I will be back. Well, I thought the plan was we do this once. Yes, new plan. There is no plan. Oh, this is great. <laughs> My brother invited us to dinner at the Rosa. Oh, fancy. How was it? Well, they have a lovely bathroom. Miss <laughs> Lundy. You're early. So are you. On time is late in my book. Mine too. Have a seat. Hope you like sangria. Ooh, indeed I do. <laughs> that was mine. <laughs> right. I am so sorry. I guess I'm a little nervous here. You take the fresh one. There we go. To a successful night. Oh, 
Roberto was my lover. <laughs> Roberto was my life. For him I yearned until I learned. Roberto had a wife. Ah. Oh, he said he loved me. I could see it in his eyes. The cruel and crushing sting of Roberto's lies. He lied to me. He was a jackal and a hide to me. And after he had tied to me, I knew inside of me our love was torn apart. He lied to me, then fell upon his knees and cried to me. Told me the man that he had tried to be, but he had died to me. Do you know? And so to had my heart. So I was thinking that I could play all these different characters and have real-time online interactions with viewers where I can read things that kids write and answer questions about things they're struggling with, but in a fun way. Mm, make it interactive. I like that. Kids just want someone to be honest with them. I agree. Authenticity. If it isn't there, they can smell it. And so can I. Uh, to honesty. To honesty. <laughs> he lied to me. That was a lover's homicide to me. And all my rage was justified to me. He struck the pride in me. He was denied. And I sent him back to her. Are you ready to order? Can you give us a second? Mrs. Dalfire isn't back yet. Maybe I should make sure she's okay. No! What is wrong with you two? Oh, I get it. Do I have some sort of birthday surprise coming? No, oh God, I hope not! <laughs> I, I am so sorry. I need to run to the restroom. This sangria is going right through me. But while I'm gone, have a look at these. Some more character ideas to discuss. I'll be right back. Well, this is more than I was expecting. She's this awesome, cool old lady. 
kids really connect with her, I've already tried her out on some. It doesn't exactly sound hip and current. No, no, she is, though. And the kids will know it's me because I'll be playing all the characters. Trust me. Kids love Mrs. Doubtfire. Mrs. Doubtfire? What are you doing over here? We're giving Mommy her presents. Who's this? One of my fans, dear. Will you excuse me a moment? <laughs> Please. After you. <laughs> oh, oh! I'm saying, sir, is that I've done what you asked. Mm -hmm. I secured a home, I made it a suitable environment for the children, and I got a job. I, I fulfilled the court's requirements. What I did is nothing to be proud of, but it's not a crime. So I, I'm begging you, don't take my kids away. Mr. Hillard, your plea seems genuine. The truth is, your actions over the last few months have been thoughtless and duplicitous. I refuse to further subject these children to your reckless behavior. It is this court's decision to award full custody to Mrs. Hillard. God, no, please! I will grant Mr. Hillard supervised visitation rights every Saturday. Supervised? Court liaison will accompany You can't do this to me! Miranda, tell him how I am with the kids. Well, say something. Court adjourned.
I don't know. <laughs> you and Mom were always good at acting like the perfect pair. So why can't you just keep it going, acting like the love's still there? Maybe you could just pretend. Say that you could just pretend. probably could, but we'd be a pretend family. We'd be acting. You can't act 24 hours a day. It's not real acting. Hmm. Acting's just a job. And it's your job to be our father. No. It is a joy to be your father. And that is not pretend. I could never be pretend. I don't play the part of your father, okay? I am your father. Always. It's the one wonderful thing I have in my life. I just don't know anymore what is real or what is true. Part of your love for mom has ended then. Couldn't your love for me end too? What? Kids. How? You know, it just it is, I promise you. Please tell me you know that. God will never end. My love for you will never end. My love for you will never end. Ever. I always picture what our life would be. <laughs> and this isn't that at all. Guess we'll have to make a new picture now. Hanging on the wall. A new picture? Right. God, you grew up fast. One of us had to. <laughs> <laughs> from its den to eat or poop. You mean my college students? <laughs> no, 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 Kovacs, no. No, that's very rude and most unfair to sloths, no. No, no, I mean in South America, where the natural habitat to these beautiful creatures is disappearing. Doesn't that make you angry? It makes me really angry! I'm gonna do my angry dance! <laughs> Oh, I think I'll join you. It's a bit like flamenco. I've got some experience with that. I thought we'd seen everyone on the list. We have. Mrs. Selner. Hi, we had an appointment scheduled? No, no, it's me. Sorry, lost track of time. Please, come in, come in. Kids, can you finish watching that upstairs? Okay, Mom. Come on, guys. Pretty amazing. 
He got his own show. And my son loves it. I guess we got to see the dress rehearsal. Well, you need to sign these documents here and here. You're just approving the schedule for the supervised visitation. Oh, right. That. Is something wrong? Ever since this happened, I've been trying to make sense of it. And I've always said, I just want what's best for the kids. But if I'm being completely honest, the kids were happier when Mrs. Doubtfire was in their lives. She brought out the best in them. She brought out the best in me. And I want that back. Does that sound crazy? I deal with a lot of deadbeat dads in this job. Abuse, neglect, complete disinterest, you name it, I've seen it. But this wasn't that. No, this dad went to all that trouble just to be with his kids. I know. So why don't I know what to do? Bridges are built to be crossed. Hope lies in forgiveness. Time can heal all Two mummies. Some live with their aunt or uncle or grandparents, even foster parents. None of it matters, dear. As long as there is love. Those are the ties that bind. And you'll have a family in your heart forever. Oh, my love to you, Poppet. 
you're going to be all right. When your world is getting cold and your story is getting old, you can feel and you will like you've lost control. Just remember what you got. Look, my comic, a new member of our family. 